Welcome to Nintendo City Weekly News, where we cover the top five Nintendo news stories of the week. These stories come from the week of October 16th. Koei Tecmo already announced the first set of DLC for Fire Emblem Warriors a few weeks ago, although they only said what games they would be coming from, Fates, Shadow Dragon, and Awakening. However, we now know the characters for each pack thanks to the Australian eShop. For Fates, Azura, Oboro, and Niles. For Shadow Dragon, Minerva, Navarre, Lind. And for Awakening, Owain, Tharja, and Olivia. It's nice to see some fan favorites here, and you can expect the first pack sometime in December. Atlas revealed that the new Shin Megami Tensei game for the Switch is in fact Shin Megami Tensei 5. The trailer also confirms that the game is a Switch exclusive. And that's about it. No gameplay, just some teaser video. But it's nice to see it be an exclusive. Three. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp will be Nintendo's next mobile app. Basically, a light version of Animal Crossing with some happy home designer and Tomo aspects thrown in. You're the manager of your very own campsite, and your job is to design the best looking campsite around. Explore surrounding areas like a forest and a beach to collect materials to use when building. Over time, your campsite will grow with all kinds of furniture and decorations. You can also visit other players' campsites and see how they style their camp. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp releases in late November. No price yet, although I wouldn't be surprised if it's free. Tom Nook will just steal your real money in other ways. The wait is almost over. Just a few more days and then we can all play as Bride Mario. I mean it. In Super Mario Odyssey, the gaming icon gets a lot of wardrobe changes. Safari Sue, Chef Hat, American Football Player, you name it. However, thanks to Family Gamer TV, we now know that the Wedding Peach Amiibo unlocks a wedding dress for Mario to wear. And what can I say? The mustache complements the veil quite nicely. One year ago, Nintendo removed the curtains off the highly anticipated NX, introducing the world to the Nintendo Switch. I myself thought it was an odd name at first, but the name completely fits the console. Since then, and its release in March, it has become one of my favorite consoles to play. After a couple of years of disappointment with from Nintendo, 2017 has been a return to form for them, all thanks to Nintendo Switch and its wonderful games. And that's your Nintendo Weekly News. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to check out our website for daily news, and don't forget to subscribe to Nintendo for more videos, reviews, and other content. Goodbye, you good people.